Welcome to another edition of Robert Farah's Tea and Tara from Neukölln and here we are with uh, Jakob Bozio, my amazing talented artist flatmate. Hello, hello everybody, hello, oh, thank I'm you for having me. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> Jakob, like me, is a, a, a tarot freak. He's also a um, fabulous artist and so Jakob, you've been doing some tarot pictures, right? Yeah, exactly. I started to... Uh, my idea was like to uh, do some drawings. Uh, nice. So starting by Matsei Tarot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Bachelor. I started from the beginning. Yeah, sure. <laughs> from the Bateler. Yeah, I tried to respect the colors of the original. Wow. Uh, yeah, but giving him like my idea of yeah. him. I also did uh, the high priestess, la papesse. Okay, that's the, yeah. okay, the lady. So yeah. the number two. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like uh, uh, continue in this direction. Yeah. Maybe my idea is also to change the colors. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, maybe key, so leave uh, this Matsei uh, tablet of colors, colors. Yeah. Maybe do something like more uh, simple. Okay. But yeah, I'm having fun. Okay. With them. And at the end of the show, will you show some of your more erotic pictures? Of course. <laughs> Direction. At the moment, you're only getting one side of, of Jacopo's <laughs> art. And I think we need, the, not we need the, the rounded picture. But we're going to talk about decks, aren't we, today? Yeah, yeah. We're going our... to compare our favourite decks of the year. So, this is... Uh, uh, the, uh, Kind of special uh, tarot somehow, named like zombie, wow. zombie tarot, really cool. and uh, yeah, yeah, I was uh, also impressed from this box. Wow, it's hardcore. It's it? hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> the box is half the pleasure. <laughs> Absolutely, every time it's like to open, uh, I don't know, something a, tr a treasure, tr yeah. treasure, yeah, yeah. Treasure, yeah totally. Uh, at the beginning, the idea of like uh, zombie tarots was to me a little bit like uh, more uh, like a joke, something yeah. funny. Yeah. It was around uh, um, Halloween, yeah. absolutely on theme. But I was surprised because uh, what they show are uh, makes sense. It's yeah. not just about uh, yeah. fun, about like this uh, yeah. associ association with uh, zombies, yeah. and they also are. Uh, uh, the good connected with the meaning, yeah. so meaningful. They're very clever, yeah. Have you got the Fool one there? The Fool is really good. Yeah, the Fool is very good. Actually, I, I, I took apart three of them, that I, three cards yeah. that I especially like, okay. meaning the High Priestess. Oh, yeah. Uh, pre yeah. yeah. I love her because generally in Marseille, for instance, yeah. she's very like um, connected symbolically with the uh, religion, with uh, yeah. a, a na nanny, you say? Uh, a nun. A nun. A nun. Okay. Yeah, okay. But I like here her because she's more like a, a shaman, shaman yeah. or more like a witch or more Fantastic. like... A, yeah. Yeah. So it's not connected that much to me as Italian, yeah. I would say not that much to the Catholic uh, Church. Also, I, I love the King of Cups. Fantastic. <laughs> King of Cups is in trouble. Yeah, it's this strange uh, um, sea captain. I love this card for the meaning of like... Uh, Cups connected with uh, water uh -huh, yeah. and like water signs, zodiacal yeah, yeah. sign. Water in, means meaning also like uh, feelings. Uh, yeah. yeah, and it's very witty because in the Rider Waite deck, the King of Cups is on a throne in the ocean, and in this one, he's on a throne, but he's sunk under the <laughs> underwater. So <laughs> He's, yeah. he's drowning. Know, so exactly. it's really, it's very witty this deck, isn't it? And it, it's very well drawn and there's a huge amount of work in every, every drawing, isn't there? Absolutely, exactly. Yeah. This uh, mood, which I really love, like uh, uh, American 50s, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like uh, advertisement, or, uh, I would say. I would say also, do you know Norman Rockwell? Yes. So it's like zombie Norman Rockwell, isn't it, really? Absolutely, yeah. yes. And this is the, the third card that I uh, choose. Yeah. Mean so this is the four of uh, pentacles. Yeah, yeah, they which call them hazards. Hazards, yeah. Call, yeah. yeah, four of hazards. Yeah, in my opinion, it's very also meaningful. Yeah. Like uh, someone uh, closed in his own uh, 
his own own possessions. In, in, the, in his own uh, possession, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So he's 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 stockpiling all his food. <laughs> exactly. He's got weapons. Is that right? And yeah, he's yeah, yeah. Defend what he's got. Defending himself uh, very hardly, but yeah, yeah. yeah, somehow a little bit like, closed uh, in his own uh, <laughs> Speti supermarket. <laughs> Speti is the German word for a corner shop, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. Yeah. We're, we're in Berlin here. We've become a bit Germanized. <laughs> I really loved also this little. Uh, White book, the little white book, which is in this book. case a little black book, a little black book. Yeah, yeah of course, in the, this like gothic mode. Yeah, they explain uh, card by card, uh, also in a very funny uh, way, uh, mm -hmm. joking again uh, with like yeah. this uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. connection of zombie and tarots. Uh, mm -hmm. very nice. So it was a very nice surprise for the yeah. Halloween time in lockdown. Yeah, yeah. So. It's a deck that you sort of read like a book, isn't it? You can just really spend time. Looking at the pictures. Six of Swords, they're escaping <laughs> in a boat. The Fool. Yeah, The Fool, it's really one of the most interesting. So he's going to the graveyard and he's too stupid to realize <laughs> that it's a zombie apocalypse. What's happening? Yeah, the. Yeah. Yeah, it looks a little, a little bit like, I don't know, Cary Grant uh, <laughs> in a zombie movie. And uh, yeah, I'm curious about uh, your favorite. Okay, well, uh, my, my favorite death. Yes. I was looking for it. This is the Sheridan Douglas. It's signed Alfred yes. Douglas, and it, it costs something like you know nineteen pounds. It's a reprint of the seventies um, deck, uh, Sheridan Douglas deck, but it's a it's a really nice reprint, and it, it's it, all produced by a family business. the The illustrator has died, but I think it's produced by one of his cousins. And look, this it's, wow, it's yes. so thick. It really Ooh. takes up a lot of space in your hands. Back in the, the old days, in late 70s, early 80s, when I, I had the book, they were black and white illustrations in the book. And I, I, I didn't really love them so much. But then when I saw them as a colour deck, um, I just think these colours are um, amazing. And it's got this 70s thing of like totally non-binary, some of these cards. Yes. Late 70s thing that... People did and made less of a fuss about it in those <laughs> times. Uh, very, very. I like tarot decks that are somehow simple and really. I don't know. They. I love the aces in this deck. It's sharp and it's clean and you know, black and yellow, good combination. Colors of danger. Great non-binary lovers. Wow, this is a it's al almost like lovely. aliens. Exactly. Their, I wanted to say he looks like aliens with their faces like. <laughs> melting into like, each other. <laughs> it's very of its time and it's it's, it's very elegant. No? The Ten of Swords. I mean, mostly yeah. it's very Rider Waite Smith, but it was developed by a tarot expert who was taught by a lady who was in this lineage. You know, she had been taught by the Golden Dawn. So this, this deck, even though it's from late 70s, it's really an original expert tarot deck. And so most of it is like the Rider Waite. Ten of Swords, there's a guy yeah. with, with ten swords. But there's about five cards in the deck which kind of have the same meaning, but they do it in a different way. The, the, the four of Batmans becomes clearly about creativity. And so you have a flute, yes. sculpting, writing and, and painting. And it's very clear that, that, that that's one of the meanings that they had in the Golden Dawn. And that is in the Rider Waite Smith. If you don't know anything about tarots and you see yeah. a, wa a wand, a wand, a wand yeah. mm -hmm. okay. you just maybe uh, instantly you think about uh, power yeah. or strength, pushing uh, ahead. Yeah. Pushing ahead. Yeah. And, but I think it's very clever to also put the attention on creativity. Yes. Yeah. And this is one of the other cards that I want to show you that wand. is a bit different. Mm -hmm. The three of battens. In, in right away, it's like enterprise and the guy is waiting for his ships to come in. And this designer... It's really about the ship is coming in. It's the fruit of the of the trade is coming back. But you see it in the ocean with a dolphin, and you get the joy of the dolphin. I can really I can really read with this deck. Also, I love this deck because of the colors. It's like the colors are so strong and so so basic in a good way that I think they help to speak. Uh, to this part, the part of the brain uh, of us, which is not uh, rational. Totally. They are just uh, like uh, messages. It's totally. blue, yellow. Totally. Yeah, I love yeah. this. I got one black and white deck this year. It was called Bianconero. Uh -huh. Very elegant, very beautiful and everything. 
and I try to sort of read with it. Yes, I understand. I, you know, if you take away the colour, you take away a big part of the communication. I found that it was a real effort to read with it. It just, it wasn't so easy. And you want everything to be as easy as possible, I think. Yes, yes, exactly. So it's what I, I mean. I never now look at black and white decks. It's, yeah. it's over for me. I mean, they're nice <laughs> and they're beautiful, but I will never buy one. I will never use one. Yes, I yeah. understand. Yeah, I mean, what I was saying before about also drawing them, I, I reproduced uh, for respect, maybe somehow, this, the colors of Marseille, but, but I also understood that I don't feel them because uh, yeah. colors are very important in, in any level, also when you want to draw them. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting that I think that these two deck uh, go in a completely yeah. opposite direction. Yeah. This is like less is more. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this is Sheridan Douglas and that's the zombie tarot and like... It's interesting because it's really like opposite direction but maybe same uh, yeah. results. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is softer and this, this could be for a teenager. Well, it, that could be for a teenager as well. This is for a younger teenager and that's for an older teenager. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yes. Uh, Maybe this could be good for someone. It's approaching tarot for the very first time, and maybe has still has a, a tiny bit of like a resistance. Resistance. <laughs> so it's yeah. like um, I don't know, funny, a little bit crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good deck for someone who's very cool, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is very cultural and watches a lot of movies and isn't easily fooled. And I think this deck could seduce you. The whole thing is so super cool and the box is so super cool and yeah. everything about it. Ah, by the way, here, look, it's also like oh, wow. a velvet, velvet effect. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas this one is like, this one is not particularly cool. It's like a tarot deck for tarot readers, I guess. To me, they really, they give me a lot of good vibes. <laughs> yeah, really good vibes. I also love the violet, by oh, the way. That's the back. What's the back of the zombies? This is like a beautiful black uh, uh, gothic uh, image. Yeah. You're more on the Marseille, the Marseille side of tarot reading, aren't you? And I'm more on the Rider Waite Smith side. Is that yes. right? Yes. I mean, the the person that uh, uh, introduced me to tarot somehow, some time ago, let me know the Marseille one that everybody knows. And uh, yeah, then I started to also yeah studying on them. Uh, I read this beautiful book uh, of uh, Jodorowsky, mm -hmm. uh, named like the the way of tarots. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's because I started with them, and I feel them somehow like my fathers or brothers or uh, mothers. Uh. What I like of them uh, is this uh, okay. simplicity, archaicity. Yeah. See, uh, so they are very like uh, symbolic somehow. It's, yeah, exactly it's, the, it, it's similar to that, isn't it? That kind of the, the, the clear lines, the, the shapes and the primary colors. Is this um, a facsimile of an old deck or is it a redraw of an old deck? Yeah, this is a good question. This is uh, actually uh, a redrawn deck based on the Marseille one. Right, okay. And uh, the colors uh, has been chosen from Jodorowsky, who wow. gave them... Uh, I mean, the meaning that he thinks uh, is like the originary. Concerning uh, Jodorowsky, all the colors are, are also very important in yeah. the reading, of course, for symbolic uh, uh, reasons, maybe. Or for instance, the light blue is connected with uh, spirituality, which is in that <laughs> case <laughs> funny because uh, I picked up uh, the devil, which in Jodorowsky is, uh, again, uh, uh, light blue. Which makes sense to me because uh, mm -hmm. if we consider also the David like uh, uh, a door to the creativity, to so, instincts, and, uh, and the earth and the body and that stuff as well. And you had that, um, you got that Indian deity, didn't you, with blue skin? Exactly. And it's the same blue. The same blue of uh, Krishna, actually. Krishna. Okay. I'm not expert uh, of uh, Indian uh, divinity, but, and, uh, but I was curious about connections. But I'm still uh, somehow struggling with the minor arcana. Yeah. yeah, this is something. But to me, it's very interesting to try to enter in this uh, symbolic uh, symbology yeah. because it's not uh, very helpful, I would say. <laughs> You have to fight, you have to enter on them, yeah. but I love difficult things. <laughs> okay, so on one level it's difficult, but on another level it's not necessarily difficult because it's just a different system. It, it strips away all the illustrations from the pip cards. And so you basically have a numerological system, don't you? Yes, say? yes. And it's a different way of perceiving. 
and some people think it's easier. Yes, as I said uh, about uh, your deck of today, maybe somehow this like uh, simplicity helps uh, your also uh, intuition to yeah. uh, expand. Uh, yeah, I would say like that. It's it's. I think it's a different language because I noticed that you know you have a zombie tarot there, which mm-hmm. is kind of the right away at Smith stories and then you have a Marseille tarot there do the two systems do they fight and in your brain do they confuse you or are you can you can you work can you live with both those different kinds of decks can you use both different kinds no actually uh, they fight (laughs) (laughs) Uh, yeah I consider myself a a student still so I'm like studying them and I try to make a a fusion between them but Actually, I understood it's impossible, so I'm starting yeah. Uh, taking yeah. away. I still don't know which way I'm going to okay. take, but I understood that there, there, there are some cards uh, which could be like considered uh, so written in the same uh, way, yeah. for instance. Uh, yeah. But then it arrives some cards, for instance, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that uh, they are considered completely in very completely, oh, yeah, very yeah. differently. Yeah. Well, I think, I mean, I think even if you're a Rider Waite Smith reader, you know, there are schools of tarot that will, that will give you different ways of reading that mm. as well, you know. What I understood uh, till now is that, yeah, to try to um, mix uh, yeah. the two systems uh, is really yeah. like uh, pretty uh, exhausting. <laughs> it's like Apple or, or PC. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Apple and PC. And uh, for sure... Um, I always come back for the Maya Arcana to Marseille. Mm. This this was really kind of imprinting to me. Yeah. So if I maybe I'm using other other decks, yeah. I often take one of them to try to explain myself yeah. better. They're very nice. That's the thing about Marseille. You get you get really drawn into the major arcanas, and there are um, there are some very nice modern packs around which uh, are really based on the Marseille. And they've got fantastic major arcana, and then the pip cards are they may I? The yeah, pips, of the pip cards are like that, and I'm going, oh, I don't want pip cards like that, so <laughs> I don't buy the deck. And there are also decks which are only 22 cards, which are just the majors. Yes, and, I understand and, you. And yes, often those will be based on the Marseille because the Marseille has something in the major arcana. You never use the uh, Marseille no, one. No, no. I I tried when I when I started this YouTube show. Uh, at the beginning of the lockdown. And I'd been reading Rider Waite Smith for, you know, since I was 19, which is a long time ago. Hi. And um, then I thought I would explain to the viewers what the difference between Rider Waite Smith and Marseille was. So I got myself a Marseille pack and I read with the Marseille, but what I was doing was I was, may I? I, yes. was, I was just putting the cards down and I guess this is an eight of pentacles. So I would put it down and then I would translate it into a Rider Waite yes. Smith Eight of Pentacles, and I go, <laughs> and I would have to do all that brain work, and then I would try to do the reading, and I decided, no, 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 it's too yes. much. I really think, sensibly speaking, that you just, you just decide, you know, because why would you, in a sense, install both systems? You could, you could spend that energy learning a different system, like Le Normand, you know, yeah, 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 which is yeah. a completely different completely system. Different. And that will take up a lot of brain power. So you don't need to learn to the two basic tarot systems. It, I think it would be a waste of time. Really. And, and I also think that now with the time, I'm going to like uh, build my own uh, system somehow, you know? I mean, of course, taking from uh, yeah, yeah, the sure. history of... Uh, but yeah, colors are also mm-hmm. very important in the uh, whitesmith as well like i don't know the blue yeah. of the sky or the well or the also what they wear uh... they, they yes they did talk about color when it was being designed and pamela did i think she did take some instruction i think with the major arcana she was more instructed than with the minor and she was in the golden dawn anyway but she was more junior than than weight who yes produced the deck so she had less access to you know all the secret documents but that he probably I don't know, he probably told her about the colours. And I think with the minor arcana, the colours are less symbolic. She did colour them in herself. So she, she delivered the, the, the black and white um, drawings. She produced the colorization of it as well. Uh-huh. But then when it was printed, her colorization wasn't very nicely 
reproduce. That's the thing. So, so, so she she did colour it herself, and I think I think the colours are symbolic, and I, I can accept that they're symbolic, and I I'm happy just to receive them and to trust the deck but i wouldn't want to go in a book and learn what color means what because yeah. i find that again that's too much for me and i'm i'm always trying to be less intellectual you know i understand yes yeah. yes i understand but i think sometimes if you get a modern deck and it's designed by someone who has absolutely no connection with color symbolism and really doesn't care and is really just trying to make things look pretty <laughs> It, it can be very striking looking, and I will mention yes. no names, but then you look through this deck and you feel, I don't feel connected. I don't feel this is really taking me anywhere. You know, it's just pretty. And, you know, there's one deck with pretty young men against pink and blue and then a naked lady and, and it all looks gorgeous. But you don't actually think this is going to help me to, Absolutely, yes, to yes, connect yes. with the morphic field. Yeah, 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 yeah. We used to say in Italian, like, it doesn't arrive to you, you know? It's like there is something that maybe, no. for okay. instance, in, in Jodorowsky or in Matei, sometimes colors are important because when maybe this card uh, has been picked, yeah. sometimes the 13 is like frightening uh, yeah. because uh, you can see in that the, the death, uh, the real yeah. death. But if you say that this pink, it's like uh, actually alive. It's like uh, uh, <laughs> about zombie, like a living uh, uh, skeleton. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, again, like a blue spiritual, but also yeah. pink. So it's, it, it doesn't mean dead. Yeah. It means like transformation. I think that discussion we just had will be one episode. Now we carry on. So, we, so bye. Bye. We're now going to record the next episode. Oh, yeah. No, it's still going. It's gone crazy. Strange.